Hi there everyone, Donovan Seidel here. Uh, this is about the fifth time I've done this video. I uploaded a final video to YouTube and then discovered that I could not use uh, pre-made audio uh, that tweaked its uh, audio recognition uh, things. So even though I was using it for educational purposes, it was flagged as a copyright violation. So let's try and create something new. Um, this tutorial is to teach you how to uh, create an adaptive click after my last how-to video which uh, I taught you how to create a constant click track. Uh, I had some questions from you as to how to make an adaptive click which follows the tempo of a music. You know obviously um, we can play in a rubato tempo within a constant click but we can also uh, we should also allow for uh, tempo uh, ritardandi and accelerandi uh, in order for our music to be nice and expressive. So I will show you how to do that right now. Uh, we are doing a process called um, uh, reclocking. And reclocking is really important because uh, it allows our grid to match our music. So a grid within our DAW, which I use uh, Logic Pro, I use a Mac Pro, and uh, Logic Pro is a wonderful DAW that you can use. Um, a grid is both tempo information and it's also meter information. So look up here, we have a simple project in 4-4 meter in 120 beats per minute. Um, fantastic. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna mute this, but also arm the record, and let's just create something. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, fantastic, so we, have row 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 your boat which starts in one tempo and ends in another we have a massive writ that i sang with my lovely voice all right the first thing that we do i do this with all my projects if a producer comes to me and says uh, i want strings behind this track or uh, i want an orchestra to play with my band the first thing I'll do when I'm given a, tr a track is to reclock it. So that changes my grid in my DAW to match the music. Uh, obviously, I could drag their track into my DAW and just start writing, but I like to know uh, where measure 50 is or that the orchestra needs to have uh, a featured section uh, starting at measure 89. and if you don't have that information in your grid, you've got to start from measure one in in the track and just kind of keep track and keep count. It's better to have the all, all the information in the grid. It's so much better. So let's just play this back. I hate listening to my own voice sing, but I'm doing this for you. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, fantastic. Uh, oh, that's hard to listen to. Man, oh man. So the first thing I will do, our first note is row, row, row your boat. Okay, um, we can see that in the waveform. We have a bunch of garbage here row, row. and so what I want to do first is split that out let's zoom in to the beginning of the first note fantastic and we're going to use uh, command T to split that into two regions now in logic um, we are doing non-destructive editing so even if I delete this I can always pull it back from the original region well from either region, really. Let's look at that. So I trim this. Let's get rid of all this. I can pull that out from this region here. It still exists. So 
Let's trim that, get rid of this garbage, and move this all over to the very beginning of beat one of measure one. Fantastic. Pull it all the way over. Okay. Let's create a software instrument of Klopfgeist, which is our little metronome. I like the kick drum sound. And what I'm going to do is uh, click along with it. So I'm going to do that with this finger over here. It can be any note. It can be any instrument. Uh, and we're going to use this information to reclock our song. So I press R to record. Sorry, I am armed for record here. That gives us one measure of click, and then we're in. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh, <laughs> let's get rid of that last O oh in, in my recording. I just trimmed that back. Fantastic. Okay, so, uh, Let's double click on our MIDI region. That opens up this. And let's make sure our first click happens right on the downbeat of measure one. We quantize that as a quarter note. That shifts this over, fantastic. And if we want, we can adjust some of the others. I know that I was slow on some of those first couple beats. Row, row, row your okay, boat. this one needs to be moved over here. Row, row, row your boat gently. Even this one a little bit to the left. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Good. Merrily. This one rushes just a bit. If it's not exact, it's not a big deal. It's still going to keep with the grid. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And Merrily. we can also do this process afterwards by affecting the tempo. So. Uh, what do I mean by that? Let's go through the process. We've got a little MIDI region, which corresponds to quarter note beats. We're going to go up here to this drop down menu. This doesn't give us all the um, tools that we want. So we're going to right click up here and choose beat mapping. Beat mapping is what we are doing to reclock the song. We can see that this MIDI region is reflected up here in this ghostly manner. Um, we can choose anything to use for the beat mapping. In this case, we're using quarter notes. So let's click on beat mapping, beats from region. And again, those clicks can represent a bar, two bars, four bars, a half note, a half note triplet, or in this case, a quarter note. Let's use a quarter note. And we can see we have a general downward trend, well, sort of an upward trend and then a downward trend, which represents the writ that I sang in row, row, row your boat. Let's open up a tempo list. And again, so we are adapting our tempos to follow. Um, uh, we're, we're adapting our tempos, which drives the grid, uh, to follow the click, which follows our music. Fantastic. That's complicated. That's too complicated. Never mind about that. So we're changing the tempos to match the music. That's a better way of saying it. Fantastic. I want you to look up here to our um, our beat count and notice how now the grid goes with it. Row, row, two, row three, your boat four. gently One, down two, the stream. Three, four. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, so we have an adaptive click. We have changed the, the tempos of the click to follow the music. Let's duplicate the Klopfgeist. We go Command D, and that duplicates everything in this track, including the Klopfgeist instrument down here. Let's mute this one. And let's make a four count beat. Row, row, Two, row three, your boat four. gently down the stream. Merely, okay, merely. so we have a four count. Let's double click on that and make sure it is quantized. We select all this, and provided this is already in a quarter note, we press Q, or we can select which one we want, and that also applies it. Let's stretch this out, stretch out all these notes so the ends of the notes coincide with the beginnings of the note. We 
select them all and we go shift backslash nice okay select them all again go to functions midi transform fix velocity and we change the velocity of all those midi notes to 100 we go operate that's done it and let's i like my downbeats to be slightly stronger so we, we go to a velocity tool we click and drag upwards with our mouse until we reach the maximum midi value of 127. we can't go any higher than that wonderful we have a loopable click that we can drag now Let's stretch this out with a loop, the loop tool. And now let's play it back. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. OK, great. Now let's pretend for a moment that our piece is not in 4-4, or, or it goes from 4-4 to 2-4, back to 4-4, and let's add in the second measure a 2-4 bar. We'd have to know from the music that we recorded, uh, you know, what our meters are. We, uh, if, if we're uh, recording in something that is pre-existing, uh, we can look at the score and know that, oh, on measure four, there's a 2-4 bar or there's a 7-8 bar here. And we can now start putting that into our grid. So let's assume that we've got a 2-4 measure starting on measure two. That only lasts for one measure. And then we're back into a 4-4 bar. Now, we're going to have to change our click because we have downbeats happening now in the middle of the measure over here for this 4-4 bar. So let's get rid of this loop. Let's copy this region over here. And we're going to do the same uh, split function that we used on the audio, uh, audio region. Let's uh, move our playhead to the middle or to, to the beginning of the next 4-4 measure. And we're going to go Command T, which splits this. We get rid of this. And now we can uh, copy the 4-4, click over here and stretch it out. We'll go over here and click on uh, the track which selects everything within the track and we go Command J to join it all together. We now have a click. Let's hear it. Row, row, two, row three, your boat four, gently one, down two, the stream. One, two, three, merrily, four. merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, awesome. So from here, I would bounce this out. Um, you can solo it and bounce it. You could uh, pan it to a little bit to the right and the audio track a little bit to the left. Row, row your boat gently down the stream. And you could uh, do an, a video capture of the measure count and the beat count. I find that really helpful alongside uh, an audible guide, whether that be uh, click alone or click with guide, or, you know, again, panned out into the different sides. Whatever you choose, the sky's the limit. Um, wonderful. Is there anything else to cover? We've created an adaptive click. Um, we have reclocked our grid to match the audio. Um, I think that does this. If you have any questions, please comment in the uh, YouTube comments. I'll try and get back to you. I hope this helps. I use this for all of my projects. Uh, it is invaluable to use this pro process uh, because it saves so many headaches down the road and allows for a flexible uh, adaptive click uh, that we access by reclocking the song. Wonderful. Uh, Hope you stay safe and healthy, be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.